Hi guys. Today we're going to start a new project making a ringtone. All right, here's an example of something I've made right here. Okay, something really short and repetitive. The key things that you need to have in your ringtone are a drum beat based on the skeleton beat, uh, kicks on one, uh, snares on two and four. Uh, you need to have a bass pattern, something simple based on one note that keeps coming back to that one note on the first beat. And then you need to have two sounds tracks. Sounds tracks meaning they come from this uh, category, sounds, and then open up any of these triangles to see a bunch of choices. You may spend a great deal of time going through these choices, finding sounds that you'd like. That's good work. Okay, once you've got that, then put them in together and uh, make a nice ringtone. Here's another example. Okay, so I've got my drum pattern here. I've got a uh, kick on beat one, on beat one, and another extra note. I've got a clap on two and four, and I've got a couple of little extra notes. On my bass pattern, I bass it on uh, one note, and I play it on beat one, some other things, and I play this on beat one of measure three. This is a one, two, three, four measure phrase. All right. Then I take these notes, I put some long notes in. I've quantized all of these notes. They begin right on the main grid line, right on measure three. Okay, and these notes are all quantized as well. If I zoom in with the magnifying glass right here, I can see that all these notes are right on the um, 16th note grid line right there. So they're all quantized on the 16th note grid lines. And we're making one, two, four, eight measure um, phrases. So this is uh, two measures long, measure one and measure two. This bass pattern is a uh, four measure phrase, measure one, two, three, and four. This pattern is a four measure phrase, one, two, three, and four. And this one is an eight measure phrase, three, four, five, six, seven, eight measure phrase. Okay. So if I was going to build another one, this is what I would do. I bring a drum in, I bass it with a kick drum on beat one, rims on two and four hi-hats across the top. I've uh, made the grid smaller so I could add in these tiny little hi-hat notes. Alright, then I'll add a bass. Something very simple that leave, lets the other sounds come through. But for sure I play the bass on beat one here and I play the bass on beat one here, the same note. I'll play some other notes. They're all quantized. They're all on the grid lines. Okay, then I'll add in another thing, another sound. I've done a, a little work on this sound to make it sound different than it had in the previous uh, ringtones. I'll go into the instrument. 
if you double click on the name up here it lets you go into the instrument and I've changed some of the dials so it sounds different than it had before. And the final thing is I'll record this next pattern. I arm the track for recording, turning it on. I'll record by hitting one of these circles and I'll record a lot of material. I'll try this. I'll try that. I'll use some different rhythms. I'll use some uh, different notes. And you got to do that. And then finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the part I like. So I'll get both loop brackets. I'll bring it to the part I like. And then I'll take these ending loop brackets right here and I'll keep uh, two or four measures of time. So here it's 29, 30, 31, and 32. That's four measures of time. And then I need to quantize it. So I'll select all of the notes and I'll hit Command U and you'll see some of them will jiggle over imperceptibly. There, they all shift over. Now they're right on the grid lines and it sounds like this. Okay, so take two, one, two, four measure phrases, select your notes and quantize them, have one sound, two sounds, have a bass, and have a drum that's based on the skeleton beat. All right, have fun.